Imagine a world where power flows freely through the air, lighting up cities without wires or bills, a world dreamed up by the genius Nikola Tesla over a century ago. But what if this incredible vision was silenced by greed and fear of change? Dive into the mysterious rise and fall of Tesla's Wardenclyffe Tower, the invention that could have changed everything. The visionary ahead of his time. Nikola Tesla is often regarded as one of the most brilliant inventors in history. Born in 1856 in Smiljan, part of modern-day Croatia, Tesla's legacy includes groundbreaking contributions to electricity, radio waves, and wireless technology. Despite his achievements, one project stands as the pinnacle of his ambition, the Wardenclyffe Tower. This massive structure, envisioned in the early 1900s, was not just a physical monument, but a symbol of Tesla's most audacious dream, to provide free wireless energy to the world. Tesla's vision for Wardenclyffe wasn't simply about communication, it was about revolutionizing how humanity accessed and shared power. Tesla's dream was fueled by his belief that the Earth itself could act as a giant electrical conductor, capable of transmitting energy anywhere. This idea would later become the cornerstone of his plan for the Wardenclyffe Tower. But why did this grand project, backed by some of the most powerful figures of the time, ultimately fail? To understand that, we must first dive into the details of this visionary idea. The Genesis of Wardenclyffe a world without wires. In the late 19th century, Tesla had already gained fame for his work on alternating current electricity, which became the standard for power transmission worldwide. Yet Tesla was never one to rest on his laurels. He began experimenting with wireless technology in 1899 at his laboratory in Colorado Springs, Colorado. During his experiments, Tesla demonstrated that it was possible to transmit electricity wirelessly using high-frequency electrical currents. Tesla's idea was bold. Why restrict energy transmission to wires when the Earth itself could be used to transmit energy? He envisioned a world where massive transmission towers would beam energy and information to any part of the planet, eliminating the need for power lines and making energy universally accessible. This concept wasn't just science fiction. It was backed by Tesla's experiments and the tangible successes of his early wireless transmission prototypes. When J.P. Morgan, one of the most influential financiers of the time, agreed to fund the Wardenclyffe project, Tesla saw it as the first step toward realizing his dream. Morgan provided $150,000, roughly $5 million today, to build the tower which Tesla initially pitched as a wireless communication system. The tower itself, an engineering feat. The Wardenclyffe Tower was a feat of engineering and ingenuity. Located in Shoreham, Long Island, New York, the structure was designed to stand at 187 feet tall, with a massive 68-foot copper dome on top. The tower's foundation extended deep into the earth, over 120 feet, to ensure electrical conductivity, Tesla's idea was to use the Earth as a conductor for energy, creating a global network that could transmit both power and information. The design was centered on Tesla's principle of resonance. He believed that by tuning the tower to specific frequencies, he could send electrical energy through the Earth to any location. The copper dome acted as the transmitter, and the underground network of tunnels and iron pipes was designed to enhance conductivity. The construction of the tower was completed in 1902, but it remained inoperable. Tesla's ambitious plans required more funding, which soon became a major hurdle for the project. A shift in focus, from communication to free energy. Initially, Tesla marketed the Wardenclyffe Tower as a revolutionary communication system capable of transmitting telegraphs, telephone messages, and even images wirelessly across continents. However, as the project progressed, Tesla revealed a more ambitious goal, to use the tower to transmit free energy globally. This revelation shifted the entire narrative of the Wardenclyffe Tower. Tesla envisioned a future where homes and industries could receive unlimited energy without paying for it. 
He saw the tower as the cornerstone of a world powered by clean, renewable energy. However, this vision was not well received by the business elite. Investors, including Morgan, were skeptical of the financial viability of a system that would eliminate the need for power grids and billing systems. This skepticism marked the beginning of the end for the project. The Financial Collapse Tesla's dream for Wardenclyffe required substantial funding, far more than the initial $150,000 provided by Morgan. As Tesla's ambitions grew, so did the costs. He repeatedly approached Morgan for additional funds, but Morgan, already skeptical about Tesla's ability to deliver, refused to invest more. Tesla's focus on wireless energy transmission, rather than wireless communication, alienated his backers. At the time, radio technology was emerging as a profitable industry, and Tesla's insistence on prioritizing free energy over commercial wireless communication made his project seem impractical. Without sufficient funding, construction on the Wardenclyffe Tower came to a halt in 1906. The structure stood incomplete and unused, a monument to Tesla's unfulfilled vision. The science behind Tesla's idea Tesla's concept of using the Earth as a conductor for wireless energy was groundbreaking but controversial. He theorized that the Earth's ionosphere could act as a natural transmission medium for electrical energy. By using the Wardenclyffe Tower to create a high-frequency electrical current, Tesla believed he could send energy waves through the Earth's surface to any location on the planet. However, the scientific feasibility of Tesla's ideas remains a subject of debate. Modern scientists argue that the transmission of energy over long distances, as envisioned by Tesla, would result in significant energy loss. Additionally, Tesla's methods for tuning the Earth's resonant frequencies were not fully understood, even by Tesla himself. While his theories were innovative, they lacked the empirical evidence needed to convince the scientific community of his time. The Fall of Wardenclyffe By 1906, the Wardenclyffe project was effectively abandoned. Tesla, now financially strained, could no longer maintain the site. Over the next decade, the structure fell into disrepair. During World War I in 1917, the U.S. government dismantled the tower, fearing it could be used by German spies for communication. The materials were sold for scrap, and the dream of a global wireless energy network came to an unceremonious end. Tesla, who once commanded immense respect and attention, was increasingly seen as an eccentric recluse. His inability to complete the Wardenclyffe Tower marked a turning point in his career, and he spent the remaining years of his life struggling with financial difficulties and dwindling public recognition. The Myth of Free Energy Suppression The Wardenclyffe Tower has become a focal point for conspiracy theories, with some suggesting that Tesla's project was intentionally sabotaged by powerful energy companies and financiers who feared the economic impact of free energy. According to these theories, Tesla's discovery of wireless energy transmission was suppressed to maintain control over the energy industry. While these claims are intriguing, they lack concrete evidence. The more plausible explanation for the failure of Wardenclyffe lies in a combination of financial, technical, and political challenges. Tesla's ideas, though revolutionary, were ahead of their time and lacked the technological support needed to bring them to fruition. Legacy and Revival Despite its failure, the Wardenclyffe Tower has left an enduring legacy. In 2012, a crowdfunding campaign raised $1.3 million to purchase the Wardenclyffe property and establish the Tesla Science Center. The site now serves as a symbol of Tesla's visionary thinking and his contributions to science and technology. Tesla's work on wireless transmission has inspired countless innovations, from radio and Wi-Fi to wireless charging technologies. While the Wardenclyffe Tower itself never achieved its intended purpose, it remains a powerful reminder of Tesla's relentless pursuit of progress. A dream deferred. The story of the Wardenclyffe Tower is a testament to the challenges of pushing the boundaries of what is possible. Nikola Tesla's dream of free wireless energy may never have been realized, but his vision continues to inspire scientists.
engineers, and dreamers around the world. Tesla's life was a blend of genius and tragedy. While his ideas often seemed fantastical, they were rooted in a deep understanding of science and an unshakable belief in the potential of human innovation. The Wardenclyffe Tower, though incomplete, stands as a monument to his ambition and a reminder that the pursuit of bold ideas is never without risk. And that's the electrifying tale of Tesla's Wardenclyffe Tower proof that one man's wild dream can still inspire us today. If you found this video shocking, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with your fellow curious minds. Let's keep Tesla's legacy alive, because the future is still full of possibilities.